Attention first year MBA candidates. McKinsey, Bain, BCG, LEK, Kearney, and more firms have released application deadlines for summer internship opportunities. That means it's crunch time. Before I share specific application deadlines, I want to share three key tips to keep in mind as you prepare to apply. There'll be one tip on networking, one tip on the resume, and one tip on the cover letter. Let's dive in. I'm going to start today's episode by sharing three application tips for MBA candidates. Then I'll dive into the specific application deadlines. Here we go. Tip number one is all about networking. So networking truly is the great equalizer. Whether you're off the beaten path at a non-target school or at a core school for MBB, networking matters. It matters that you do it, and it matters who you network with. So reach out to folks inside of your target offices at the post-MBA level, that's associate or consultant, depending on the firm. Networking is critical to, to ensure that folks at the firm can put a face with the name. It truly is a round zero interview. It's incredibly difficult to get an interview for a top consulting firm without first networking and proving yourself in that process. So do yourself a favor. If you haven't networked yet, start today. Here's our second tip focused on the resume. MBA candidates, you want to make sure your resume is impact oriented. What does that mean? Your resume is not there to highlight any subject matter expertise that you might possess, but it's there to highlight your transferable skills and how you've used those skills to drive impact in every setting that you've been in. A couple of key tips. Make sure that each bullet point on the resume includes transferable skills. These skills include conducting quantitative or qualitative analysis, leading teams, managing budgets, managing clients, and more. Second, you want to make sure that you draw a direct line between your skills and the specific metric impact that you've achieved. If a bullet point doesn't include the impact of your skills and action, it's not complete. We'll be right back after this quick break. Join the next strategy sprint to build consulting skills, add killer experience to your resume, and prepare for life on the job. In Strategy Sprint, you, in a team of six led by an MBB consultant, solve a strategic problem for a real-world business. By the end of the project week, you'll have experienced a taste of what it's like to work in consulting at McKinsey, Bain, or BCG. Oh, and by the way, it looks great on a resume. Our team will even help you add the experience to your CV. Plus, you'll be issued a certificate of completion at the end of the program. So apply today. Click the link in this episode's show notes to fill out the two minute application. There are limited spots remaining, so don't miss out. Our third and final tip is on the cover letter. Now, more and more firms are making submitting a cover letter optional in the application process. If a particular firm has made the cover letter optional, it will not hurt you not to submit one. However, it can help if you submit a good one. Here at Management Consulted, we tell our clients all the time, if you have an opportunity to shine, take it. Don't leave it on the table. So if you have the time to craft a good cover letter, submit one, even if it's optional. Here's what makes a cover letter submission worthy. First, it includes stories on two of your most impressive accomplishments. The cover letter is not meant to be a rehash of the resume, but rather it's meant to be a deep dive into a couple of your most impressive experiences, highlighting in story form the context of a problem you faced, the specific actions you took, and the corresponding results. Secondly, the cover letter acts as a writing sample. One of the few skills that consulting firms will not teach you is the ability to clearly and concisely communicate in written form. You must possess that skill coming into the job. And a cover letter highlights that you can communicate clearly and concisely at an executive level. Finally, the cover letter exists to highlight to the firm that you are a good cultural fit. In the cover letter, you're answering the hypothetical question, why the firm? The best possible way to answer that question is to reference a networking conversation that you've had with someone at the firm. How do you know you're gonna fit into the culture at BCG New York, because you've talked to someone from BCG New York and you know what life is like in that office at BCG. You have an understanding of the culture, an understanding of the ethos, 
and an understanding of the core values that underpin that particular firm and office's culture. In short, the cover letter is a great chance to name drop. As you're answering the question, why Bain, or why McKinsey, or why BCG, you want to make sure that you highlight the conversations you've had with folks at those firms. This is really where your cover letter gets tailored for that particular firm. You don't need seven different cover letters for seven different job applications. You need one best practice cover letter that is seven different why the firm paragraphs. Okay, whew. Now that we've covered networking, the resume, and the cover letter, let's get to these application deadlines. Here they are. The general application deadline for McKinsey is November 30th, 2022. And for Bain and BCG, it is November 29th, 2022. Please note, and this is critical, these deadlines do not apply to all core schools. The deadlines I'm sharing are general application deadlines Many programs have earlier deadlines. For example, at Bain, Tuck, Wharton, and Yale have a November 15th application deadline, which is two weeks earlier than the general deadline. And you'll find variations of this to be true at McKinsey and BCG as well. So visit the link in the show notes to find deadlines for your specific program. For firms outside of McKinsey, Bain, and BCG, Alvarez and Marsal's Consumer and Retail Group has an application deadline for MBA candidates on November 11th. Carney has a deadline on December 1st, and LEK's deadline is on January 31st, 2023. Bookmark the link in the show notes, where we'll post more deadlines as they are published. No matter where you're applying or where you're in school, we wish you the best of luck this application season. If you want to work with our expert team to put your best foot forward, grab an editing package today. Over the course of two rounds of line-by-line edits, our team will go through and reword, restructure, and reformat your resume and your cover letter. We'll cut what's not relevant and we'll build upon what is. By the end of the editing process, you'll have a transformed set of documents ready for any application. In addition, the editing package comes with a 30-minute one-on-one coaching session. We can use this session to help you build a networking strategy or to get a head start on your case prep. You can learn more and purchase through the link in the show notes. And if you're on a tight deadline, add the 48-hour turnaround option to your package at checkout, and we'll make sure you get your docs back before your deadline. So now it's time for you to prepare for these fast approaching application deadlines. Prepare your resume, prepare your cover letter, and make sure you've networked at every firm you're applying for. As always, our team is here to help. Reach out at team at managementconsultant.com. If you got something out of this episode, please leave a rating and review on Apple Podcasts or Spotify to help get the word out. We'll catch you again next week.